Hello, my name is Mark Potocznik from Animation Studio Render Baron in Düsseldorf, Germany. Welcome to this short tutorial on how to use ambient occlusion in an intelligent way. When we have a closer look at how diffuse contact shadows or diffuse shadows in general in real world lighting behave, we realize that an effect comparable to ambient occlusion only occurs in core areas of shadows. They do not occur in clearly lit areas. To demonstrate how to achieve that, I created a simple scene with a sphere on the floor and one light with activated shadows and also an environment object with some amount of environment strength to make the dark shadow areas visible. So back in Cinema 4D, our aim is how to define that ambient occlusion only appears in areas where there's little or no light. In other words, how do we mask ambient occlusion in a way that it only occurs in shadows? Now, that is the central question. Masking a shader in that way means to use a shader which is sensitive to light. Now, we know such a shader. It's the effect shader Lumas. When we have a closer look at the Lumas shader, we realize that the tab shader just behaves as the color channel in the material itself. It says, show me only where I'm lit. So this tab does exactly the same as the color channel, show me only where I'm lit, but within a shader. If we could invert this function, the result would be, show me only where I'm not lit. That would be perfect for masking ambient occlusion for occurring only in shadow areas. So what we do as a first step is we create a layer shader in the diffusion channel. Then we create our ambient occlusion shader within the layer shader. And afterwards, we create a Lumis shader as a layer below our AO ambient occlusion shader and set the layer mode of our Lumis to layer mask. When you've done that, in the Lumas shader, we deactivate all specular tabs because we only want to use the mentioned behavior of the shader tab. In the shader tab itself, we put illumination to 100% and we set the color from gray to bright white. Now we have created a mask for ambient occlusion. The result is shown only in areas where the object is lit, just as predicted. Show me only where I'm lit the behavior of the Lumas shader. But how do we invert that? It's simple, by putting the Lumas in a colorizer shader. We right click on the Lumas shader and choose colorizer. Colorizer is a shader that transforms the luminance values of its input information like shaders or bitmaps to color values or to color gradients. But we also can transform luminance values of its input shaders into a black and white gradient. So we can convert the luminance values of our Lumis shader into a black and white gradient and also we can invert it. All we have to do is to go into the colorizer shader and replace the preset colors of black, red and yellow into black and white. Then right click the gradient and select invert knots. The fact is that we inverted the behavior of our Lumas mask successfully, but the result still seems, seems strange. Um, that is because the diffusion channel interprets all empty areas without our active masked AO shader as black, night black. So all we have to do now is to create a color shader in the layer shader and to put it below our masking colorizer. This white color shader now works as a grounding on a canvas. It ensures that the diffusion channel is only black in areas where our masked ambient occlusion is working. Now that we have masked our AO shader that way, sometimes it might be necessary to increase the sample area or the contrast of the used AO shader to amplify the visible effect. So, right now we have created an intelligent version of ambient occlusion. 
an ambient occlusion that only appears in poorly lit or even shadowed areas, just as in real-world lighting. 